uh, Foose is going to take our opening comment. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, like you guys see, today was actually a super fun game. You know, it was actually a fun team team game. You know, like I bet everybody can see it, how we we actually play for each other. You know, we don't have any selfish guy. You know, I think so. That's the beautiful thing about this team. Ruchi. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Ruchi. No, I, I don't know. Just two halves of um, hard-fought basketball. That's all I got to add. Who's did great. I oh, appreciate it. Take any questions, guys. Please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. And please uh, give us your uh, name and affiliation. Richie, uh, what was working for you guys in the second half to pull away after they cut it down to three points? I um, guess you all know him. Yeah. Charper, KSL Sports. Yeah. It's every second half, the focus is like, we're going to win this thing on the defensive end. And it was no different from with this game. Just getting stops in transition and protecting the ball, being strong with the ball. Just like Fus did an incredible job. He had some um, early little things, but he came back and was just a man with that ball and just really um, was so strong, just like Fus is. And that's, yeah, like that's, that's what it came down to. And um, an awesome win. One over here on the left. Uh, Richie, every time they kind of made a run at you, um, Darius Johnson playing incredible, mm. uh, you guys seem to have an answer. How, where did you find that kind of response from? Just really like well, um, protecting the ball is the first thing that comes to my mind, just like I just said. Um, because we protected the ball, we were able to um, do what we do offensively and either push it in transition and or get into our um, our half court sets, um, which because people like Foos were protecting the ball, we were able to um, get the open shots that we that we thrive on. Okay, well, let's go to front row over here on the right. Neil Meyer with the front office news. Coach, you guys jump out to that 14-0 run. What was really working for you guys early? And Richie and Foos, just talk about what it was able to see those shots start falling in the opening minutes. Yeah, it was, um, you know, we had some good fortune and, and uh, some good ball movement. The guys actually came out on the floor really on attack from the very beginning of the game, um, playing on our toes, which is something we talk about uh, every day. Um, and, you know, this Ali Khalif is really complicated to guard. And, and uh, you know, he made a couple shots early and Dallin made a couple shots early and, and um, kind of got us going in a good direction. But most exciting for us was our defensive focus to start the game I thought was excellent. Which player would you like first? Um, yeah, I, I don't really have much to add to that. Um, you know, it's that's the first time Richie hasn't had something to add to what I say. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Kidding. No, just people made shots. That's it's always good to see the ball go through the net first. Um, but you know, if it, we have a five minute run, we got 35 minutes of other basketball we had to play. So. Yeah, you wanted want to say everything, you know. So I don't have nothing. <laughs> Okay, we got two on the, oh, we got one here on the yeah, right, on the second row. Darnell Dixon, Daily Herald. Mark, the, the run in the second half after they had come back to get close, um, and you guys, I think, went on 12 or run, um, Spencer draws a charge. What, what are some of the elements of that defense that work when you get that kind of, of a Yeah, I thought it was, um, you know, for us all night long, it was a defensive, like it was a, like we had to find a way to guard against a team that really is is talented to put their head down and get in the rim. And then this Darius Johnson was a was a, a massive problem tonight, making shots. Like he was, he he made really really difficult shots that were really incredible. And it all started from transition. I mean, you think about how they opened their game yesterday. The first three or four possessions, when you watch them on film, it's just like they are just racing down the floor in transition. So I felt like our guys really shored up. The transition defensive part of it uh, really gapped up a little bit better, and then finished it with rebounds. And a lot of the rebounds were being finished with with um, our undersized guys, which was which was really important. Let's go with the front row here on the left. Coach Matthew Postens, Heartland College Sports. You played three really tough games with this UCF team. They have to wait till Sunday to find out if they're going anywhere. What makes them worthy of, say, an NIT berth? Yeah, this there's no doubt this team should be playing somewhere. They're incredible. You think about the wins they have this year. It took them a minute to find themselves in the non-conference for sure. But this team is um, – this is a this is an incredibly well-coached 
uh, team. Obviously, Johnny Dawkins is one of the best there is in the country um, with unbelievable toughness and resilience. Uh, the physicality, they can beat you on the glass. They can beat you in transition. They can definitely beat you by turning you over and guarding you. Um, you think about the teams in this league that they've beat this year. They won four out of six, you know, coming into this game. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a good team. I'm just so grateful that we don't have to play them again. Um, you know, I, I, I have nightmares about this team, actually, because uh, they scored 15 points in the last minute of our last game. But um, I, I didn't t share this with the guys before, but this is really important. So um, when I was in this building uh, seven months ago, um, I talked about how we were excited to be picked 13 because it's Taylor Swift's favorite number. This morning, I found out courtesy of the greatest statistician SID ever that our first game against UCF was on January 13th. Our second game was on February 13th. And so we knew that with our third game on March 13th, like the, the, the deck was stacked against these guys, man. It's not even fair, not even fair. <laughs> Plus we're in Kansas City. I mean, what? It's beautiful. Yes, don't you? <laughs> if I had told you guys that before the game, would you be like, man, our dude's lost his mind? Or would you be like? <laughs> a, little, a little bit. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Let's go to the front This room. UCF team is great, man. I I'm excited to see what they do the rest of the way. I'm not sure how I follow that up, Mark, but uh, Mitch Harper, KSL Sports. Uh, Mark, how would you assess the impact of Dallin uh, despite dealing with foul trouble in the first half? Yeah, I, I thought Dallin was incredible. I mean, he, he just, you know, he does what Dallin Hall does. Like, he just stepped up and made a couple of huge shots. His, his ball protection uh, under incredible duress was, was fantastic. I thought he was really special that way. Um, and then, you know, sitting most of the first half for him to come out. And he came out right away and just banged another shot to, to start the second half. Didn't miss a beat. I, I thought he was incredible. And I thought he, you know, him and Richie and Foos um, really set the tone. The, the challenge for us in, in a game like this with a team that's so athletic and so physical and so aggressive and made such big shots and, and is, you know, as things are starting to get hairy and complicated, do we stay aggressive? And Dallin helped us stay aggressive. Richie Saunders was a star helping us stay aggressive tonight. And Foos definitely helped us stay aggressive security-wise and, and dominating space. So I thought Dallin was certainly the leader of that push, which is probably the, the deciding factor in the game. Okay, we've got, two, we've got time for two more questions here. Let's go here on the front row on the left. Two-parter for both players, if I could. Foos, I just wanted to ask you, what, what does Richie Saunders bring to this team? Uh, and then if I could follow up after with, with Richie, I got to ask Richie about the headband and where it comes from, how he gets those superpowers. But but first, Foose, what does Richie bring to this team? Oh, man. Like, can you hear me? Yes. I feel like I, I just never seen, <laughs> never seen anybody like Richie, you know, like, I'm just trying to learn from him how he just got no chill, you know, he's always like, it's like something is going on all the time, you know. Yeah, that's why something I just sometimes I just wish like I would play like him, you know, how he's always flying around everywhere, you know. Like I should never play anybody who play as hard as Richie, you know, like it's just amazing to have his in that team, you know. He's just he just help everybody, you know. He's just trying to be like him. Yeah. That was good. Do you think you could top that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I mentioned earlier just some of the big things that Foos does. Um and you know, like that's, that's my little brother right here. Um, oh, as, uh, here we go. Come on, man. <laughs> like, like, really, like, I, but, but yeah, I look up to him like none other. Um, I don't show him that enough. But um, Foose just is, he's a monster. There's, when you need two points, you go to him. And when he's flying up and contesting every shot, like, it's, I don't want anybody, any other shot blocker um, behind me. And, um, yeah, no, he's a big time player. I love playing with him. Oh, my headband. Um, no, you know, strictly utility. My hair gets my eyes. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you know. No, my, my wife, and I guess it was a together decision. We decided to grow out my hair. Um, and now I need something to keep it so I don't uh, drown in my, my sweat. No, it does. It does. I should have added that, but yeah. Can we, can we talk about what we talked about after practice? <laughs> Or do you want to leave that alone? I'll just leave that alone. Okay. <laughs> All right, our last question is here on the second row. 
Mark, uh, quick turnaround. Uh, maybe you haven't thought about it, but what are you going to do the rest of the day? Uh, what will that entail? And I had a second question, but it skipped my mind after that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be long-winded so you can think of the second one. Uh, so uh, we'll go back uh, right now. Um, the guys, really important hydration, so they're working on that right now. We'll go back, uh, do a little bit of um, post-game treatment, uh, let the guys get a little bit of rest, um, and then we'll, we'll clearly get some food right now, except for, you know, except for Ollie, and then, and then we'll meet at 4.30 and start hitting it hard. Uh, in terms of game prep, pretty much the exact same schedule we had yesterday. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think he's incredible. Um, he sure didn't miss a beat to start the game, and he threw one pass today, guys. That little pocket pass around the wrong side, like I just shook my head. I'm just like, what is happening out here? Like it's, it is. Um, I thought he was terrific tonight. I thought he was absolutely terrific. So he was. He he was great. And, um, you know, he's a believer. We're all believers, so let's go. All right, Coach. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Mark. Appreciate you.